If you don't want style applied to your table here, first off, make sure you got a cell selected in the table so you get its related contextual design tab. Then come up here to the Table Styles group, click on the Quick Styles drop down arrow, and come down below and click on Clear. Hey, the Emperor's new clothes, he has none. You still get the functionality of the table, but you don't get the, I would call them clothes here, that we can make it dressed up and look like we've got something going on. Now, in addition to this, if you want to create your own style, then come back up here, click on the Quick Styles drop down arrow, and say New Table Style, and then give your new table style a name my spiffy style because hey everything we do is spiffy and then down below you can select your table element do you want it applied to the whole table and if you do that and you click on format then you get the three options the font the border if you want a border about yay big or that type of a border with different colors or to put in color for the whole table then go ahead and choose that I'm gonna click close and not apply it to the whole table but I want to do it to the first row stripe meaning that the first row in the table will get let's click on format and because it's getting close to Halloween, let's do something orangey and then click okie dokie. And you can see over here in the preview window, the first row gets that color, then it alternates with white as the default. And if I want in between those alternating colors of orange, the second row stripe, then select it, click on format, and we'll choose kind of a light gray here. And then click okie dokie, and there you go. First orange, then gray, then orange, then gray. Let's go ahead and check it out and click okie dokie. And to apply it to my table here, just come back up here, click on quick styles, and there it is. When I hover over it, you can see in the pop-up, hey, it's my spiffy style. Click on it and cool. And if I want to get rid of it, no longer have a need for it, or I want to modify it, then come back up here, click on the drop down arrow, right click on it. You can modify it, make your changes, click cancel, or click on it again, right click on it, and delete it. When I say OK, it reverts to a default table style. It may not be the one that you like. And if not, then again, go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and choose something that you do like. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.